Okay, so here's the rock cycle. First, we're going to draw a volcano, um, and we have the magma chamber underneath the volcano. Um, when lava cools underneath the surface, it is intrusive, and that's what I'm drawing right here. I'll label it in a minute. Uh, extrusive is when it um, cools on the surface, and so now we have our volcano erupting, and I'm going to draw some lava coming down over the side, and that's going to be extrusive because it's it's cooling and hardening on the surface. So what I'm basically doing now is showing that it's lava and then it's um, cooling and hardening. So we got extrusive and intrusive are two types of igneous rocks. Okay, so then we have um, basically how the rock kind of breaks down. And so I'm drawing a um, storm cloud and I'm going to have rain that shows that it's slowly breaking up the rock. And this is this is basically showing weathering. You could have uh, plants doing weathering, you could have wind, water, ice, all sorts of things that are breaking that rock down into smaller pieces. Here we just see some of that. And basically um, weathering leads eventually to soil creation. And so that's what we have going on here. We have um, those little rocks are going to start um, getting pushed around and I'm drawing some wind here for erosion but we're going to have different layers of soil and there are a lot of different ways that soil can be created but basically what you're, you're seeing is that there are some little rocks and um, when rocks get broken down and, and moved around they make parts of soil okay so there's weathering and erosion and they make soil and so now what I'm trying to show you is that eventually that rock gets moved it gets blown away by erosion, it gets swept away by water, and sometimes it gets deposited at the bottom of a lake, or and that's deposition that will make sedimentary rock. Now you can see that there are some fossils in there. Uh, sedimentary rock is the kind of rock that makes fossils. As it gets further down below the surface, heat and pressure start changing that rock, and that rock can be changed into metamorphic rock. Metamorphic just means that it's changing. Uh, it's basically going to get squished and changed and it won't be sedimentary again and if there are fossils they'll be gone so heat and pressure make metamorphic rocks okay and basically that's the rock cycle but the cool thing about it is it can go from one to another from any part to another part you can have sedimentary rock that melts and becomes magma uh, you could have uh, igneous rock that becomes soil you can have metamorphic that melts and becomes magma and there i'm draw drawing in the extrusive igneous rocks and you could also have igneous rock that melts back again uh, from extrusive or intrusive. You can have igneous rock that becomes sedimentary without going through the soil process. You could have igneous rock that becomes metamorphic. And you can have metamorphic that goes into soil. And basically everything can become everything else. If I miss an error here or there, I'm, I'm sure you, you can figure that out. But it can go right into erosion of metamorphic and, then, and there you go. Even uh, the normal uh, sedimentary into metamorphic that would be the, the way that it would normally go. So that's the rock cycle. I hope this uh, helps you to understand it. If you need to, go back and, and check it out again, but uh, there you go.